This video is a glimpse of how people living with dementia, their families and staff can work together to create an environment that they are happy to live in, work in and visit and where we all strive to know and engage with the person behind the dementia. Nellie, could you help me arrange some flowers for the tables this morning? Yeah, I can try. You can try? Fantastic. We'll get some vases out. Marge has thoroughly enjoyed the activities. She's been able to, uh, well, do some of the things she'd done in her former life, I suppose, such as drying the dishes or folding the serviettes, uh, helping make beds even. Hello, Marge. Hey. Hello, dear. Would you like to help me clean the whiteboard? I would let you do oh, it. Thank you. Can you hold one of these? Just one. Can you wipe like this? Can you do this? That's it. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you, Marge. You did a great job. The environment is changing and interactive and offers opportunities for staff and residents to interact in a meaningful way. No, he's been on a pad. Do you know what that song is? Oh, what is it? How much is that dog in, in the window? window. And and when the Thanks to chicken fish pie, yes. pie. Yes. pie. Some of this, the mixed vegetables, and then the broccoli. Around the creek or in the field at the area. <laughs> Do you know any of these items? Yeah. That's the bar. That is the bar. The bar. Oh. Did you have the Royal Mail? Yeah. yeah. Did you have lunch at the Royal Mail? Can lunch? Uh, once or twice. Yeah. Penny something, isn't penny it? Penny for you. Penny. Penny, penny farthing. Oh, farthing. that's it. Penny farthing. Yeah. Residents in Wattle have meaningful activities and social roles which are based on their strengths and abilities and reflects their interests and skills. It is extremely important that residents succeed. The same activity can be undertaken with different residents but the activity is modified to ensure they both still succeed. Lynn, mm -hmm. would you help me set the table please for lunch? Try. You'll try, I'm sure you'll do a great job. I've got this fork here. Would you, so we've got the fork there, so if you place it on the table, yeah. very close to where it is on the picture, that's brilliant. It's really good. Now my next item is here's this. a spoon. That's correct, so here's a spoon. Place it on the table, fantastic. What's our last bit? Can you see that? The knife. The knife. And the knife sits next to the spoon. Hmm. Would you place the knife next to the spoon for me, please? Lynn? Thank you very much for helping okay. me set the table. Thank you. Would you like to try it again another time? Oh, another time, yeah. That would be very, very good. Thank yeah. you very much. The focus for all staff is to have a resident engage beside them and to help the residents maximise their capabilities and not do the tasks for them. To help me make your bed, Ella. 
Yes, I'd love for you to help me make my bed. Do you like this colour? Yes, I do. It's very nice. There. Beautiful. We're all done. It's you have done a really good job. Level there. Would you like to help me sweep the floor? Who have who who sweeped the floor? You. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to help me? For how long does it go? Not very long. All right, I'll okay. help you with that. <laughs> Thank you. Risk assessments are undertaken on residents to ensure their skill, capability and safety. Well, to start with, I was very concerned about falls because he was wandering, he wanted something to do. My main concern was that he would fall because he just used to wander with nothing to do. Now he's more interested in what he's doing. He doesn't wander without a purpose. If he gets up, he goes to get something, what he wants, and then he goes back and sits down. You don't tell me I'm doing it wrong. We notice the difference of her, and of course, also, um, she's not drugged to the high hilts. That you girls have taken her off some of those medications, and I think that's a great thing. Pop the ball in the bucket here. In that one. Mm, that's right. Well done. Put it in the bucket. Mm. Yes, in there. Thank you, CA. You want to have a go at popping these pegs onto the bowl? All right. Can you use this hand? Which hand? So what we want to do, you watch me, is pop them on there like that. Can you do that? Yeah. You try the blue one. So, hey, go we on. have had comments that some activities are childlike or kindergarten-like. These activities have helped to maintain and even restore function. For example, Theo, who had a stroke and was unable to feed himself, has progressed from putting balls in a bucket to putting pegs around a bowl, to now independently feeding himself. Good afternoon everyone. Jean's shop is now open until 3.30, thank you. Have a bag of lollies please, yes. those. And there's the dollar. Thank you very much. Which is the bag of lollies. Thank you very much. Activities are fun, engaging, and undertaken to support a resident to validate their self-worth. Miriam loves some scones. Some scones? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're always looking for me. It's always down at the bottom here. It's not the store. Page two. The, the original inhabitants of the area around Wokenville were the Wublock tribe of Aboriginal people. Mm. Were you born in Warwicknabeel? Who was born in Warwicknabeel here? Doc, what town were you born in? Border Town. You were Border Town? South Australia. Oh, okay. <laughs> Under the Scots, that total area of the station was reported to be 124,000, more than that I think, acres and supported up to 100,000 sheep. At Rural Northwest Health we are pleased with our progress of the capability model in Wattle Crescent. We have implemented and improved the four main principles of the capability model which are the resident's capability and ability, knowing the resident's background, leadership, and continually improving and adapting the environment to the resident's needs. We are looking forward to continuing the journey with Hay Street, which is our high care unit and the wider community.